Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Monday the 23rd of November. Today we celebrate the life of Clement. He was a Bishop of Rome and he was martyred in the year 100. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city, where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul, how I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God, with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? Why are you so disquieted within me? Oh, put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading, Psalm 92. It's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to tell of your love early in the morning and of your faithfulness in the night time, upon the ten-stringed instrument, upon the harp and in the melody of the lyre, for you, Lord, have made me glad by your acts, and I sing aloud at the works of your hands. O Lord, how glorious are your works! Your thoughts are very deep. The senseless do not know, nor do fools understand. But though the wicked sprout like grass, and all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is only to be destroyed for ever. But you, O Lord, shall be exalted for evermore. For lo, your enemies, O Lord, lo, your enemies shall perish, and all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted like the horns of wild oxen. I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes will look down on my foes. My ears shall hear the ruin of the evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, and shall spread abroad like a cedar of Lebanon. Such as are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age, they shall be vigorous and in full leaf, that they may show that the Lord is true. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Give us the music of your praise, Lord, morning, noon and night, that our lives may be fruitful and our lips confess you as the true and only God. Psalm 96 Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. For all the gods of the nations are but idols. It is the Lord who made the heavens. Honour and majesty are before him. Power and splendour are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honour and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the honour due to his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the fields be joyful and all that is in them. 
Let all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. With righteousness he will judge the world and the peoples with his truth. Lord God, you draw us by your beauty and transform us by your holiness. Let our worship echo all creation's praise and declare your glory to the nations through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah 40 from the first verse. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God, Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their consistency is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Revelation 14 from the first verse. Then I looked, and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him were 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven like the sound of many waters and like the sound of loud thunder. The voice I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps. And they sang a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and before the elders. No one could learn that song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. It is these who have not defiled themselves with women, but they are, for they are virgins. These follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been redeemed from humankind as first fruits for God and the Lamb, and in their mouth no lie was found. They are blameless. Then I saw another angel flying in mid heaven, with an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who live on the earth, to every nation and tribe and language and people. He said in a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory, for the hour of his judgment has come and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. Then another angel, a second, followed, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Then another angel, a third, followed them, crying with a loud voice, Those who worship the beast and its image and receive a mark on their foreheads or on their hands, they will also drink the wine of God's wrath 
poured unmixed into the cup of his anger, and they will be tormented with fire and sulphur in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment goes up for ever and ever. There is no rest day or night for those who worship the beast and its image, and for anyone who receives the mark of its name. Here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commands of God and hold fast to the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this. Blessed are the dead who from now on die in the Lord. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labours, for their deeds follow them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The Benedictus. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. We pray for the saints on earth, that they may live as citizens of heaven. All people, that they may hear and believe the word of God. All who fear the winter months all sovereigns and political leaders, that they may imitate the righteous rule of Christ, all who grieve or wait with the dying. Surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us make our prayer in the power of the Spirit, looking to Jesus, the pioneer of our faith. That with the noble fellowship of the prophets we may discern the signs of your kingdom in our midst, we pray to you, O Lord. with the glorious company of the Apostles, we may proclaim your gospel throughout the world. We pray to you, O Lord. That with the white-robed army of martyrs, we may be ready to suffer for the truth's sake. We pray to you, O Lord. That with all who are anointed by your Spirit, we may bring good news to the poor and freedom to the oppressed. We pray to you, O Lord. That with the saints in light we may bind up the broken-hearted and comfort all who mourn. We pray to you, O Lord. That within the whole company of Christ's pilgrim people we may come to the inheritance of the saints in glory. We pray to you, O Lord. In communion with all the saints, let us commend the world to the mercy and protection of God in a few moments of silence. And the collect creator and father of eternity whose martyr clement bore witness with his blood to the love he proclaimed and the gospel that he preached give us thankful hearts as we celebrate your faithfulness reveal to us in the lives of your saints 
and strengthen us in our pilgrimage as we follow your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May Christ, who's opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining me this morning for morning prayer. I hope each one of you will go on to have a good day and that you'll be able to join me again tomorrow morning. Goodbye. <laughs>